Hello and good morning. Well, it's a little bit of the afternoon actually right now, but I'm headed to go to my facial. I'm wearing no makeup right now. I'm getting my third facial ever. Um, not ever, but of this like basically started like a treatment series to clear up my skin. I'm going to a dermatologist and getting facials once a month. And I'm kind of like bringing you guys along on the journey in case anyone else has similar skin or has wanted to clear up their skin and has tried lots of things, lots of products and I don't know, I'm always curious to see how other people did it and what facials and what things worked for them. Last time I had uh, red light, I had like, I've, I've recorded the thing, so I'll just link the video for my last facial. I record the entire facial, like step by step, like have my camera with me as she does the entire thing. I also Insta story the entire process. And if you're curious, I go to Joyce Marie um, of Beverly Hills. I'm not getting paid to say that, that's just who I go to. I get a lot of questions. She's amazing. I found her because she was the number one uh, esthetician on Yelp and she's been been an esthetician for over 40 years so she's super experienced and she's the top esthetician in the beverly hills area so i, I trusted her i went to her loved her and, and now we have like a, kind of like a six month program or like plan to get my skin on track I'm here for my third facial with the joyce of beverly hills and today we're gonna talk we're gonna do another facial to start off the new year and did you want to tell them what we'll do today yeah i think today we're gonna do some microderm on you um to help exfoliate all that dead skin from the holidays and the dryness that occurs because it's so cold outside and people are really lacking in moisture so we want to get rid of the dead skin on the surface and add some more moisture to the skin and it also helps to clear up the breakouts Right now we're starting off with microderm. Do you want to talk a little bit about what that does? Yeah, the microderm is a physical exfoliant and what it does is it exfoliates that top dead layer of skin. Um, and in your case, um, it, it actually is going to be a little bit more gentle than using the chemical exfoliant right today because, you know, it's been a, a cold winter and sometimes I think the physical exfoliant does a better job and it also can help clear up breakups as well. Mm -hmm. It feels really nice even after your skin looks a lot brighter, I've noticed, right after the microderm. So we just steamed my skin in time to do extractions, and then do you want to talk about why extractions are important and how they help your skin overall? Yeah, well extractions should really be done by a professional, not by yourself. And you have to prep the skin, so we prepped it by doing exfoliation, steam, it softens up the impurities. I used a, a solution that helps to change the pH so it will um, emit from the uh, pore easier. But you have to be careful to not over extract as well. So it's kind of like a fine balance. But once you get the sebum out of the pore, then the pore can heal up and the skin will look better quicker. Okay, so now I'm doing the high frequency. Uh, the high frequency um, emits an ozone gas that helps kill bacteria. And so we do this after the extraction. It's best done over gauze. It allows oxygen to flow between your skin and the um, electrodes. And so this is great to do after extraction to help heal the skin a little bit quicker and make the breakouts go away faster. This is a light skin. Um, I use this tool after I've done extractions and it's great because it's got blue, red, and amber and the blue light kills the acne P bacteria and the um, red light helps with inflammation. Amber is great for collagen and elastin. And so um, it ends up looking like this. And we're gonna put um, Polina under this lamp for 20 minutes. And, and it actually, it's gonna basically go just like this for 20 minutes. And it's very relaxing, collagen and elastin. And so um, it ends up looking like this. And we're gonna put um, Polina under this lamp for 20 minutes, and, and it actually it's going to basically go just like this for 20 minutes. And it's very relaxing, and um, it's going to help heal the breakouts and make your skin look luminous. It really helps deep up, especially after extractions. I've noticed it helps like calm down the red. Yeah. Because exactly. right after my skin's super red, and after this, it goes down really quick, and also my skin's like tighter the next day, so it's really awesome. <laughs> So we just finished doing the red light for 20 minutes and now we're about to do oxygen but first we're going to apply some vitamins you were saying? Yeah, vitamins A, C, and E and this will be penetrated into the skin and will also be penetrated when I'm using the oxygen. It helps to heal the skin, add moisture to the skin. Um, I'm also going to use a little jojoba and I'm going to put a warm steam towel on your skin to penetrate the, the um, oils and then we'll do the oxygen. Mm. Oxygen is really nice because it helps your skin look really like I would say dewy, right? Like after we did the yeah. last time, super glowy. It's very smooth, makes the skin feel really smooth and calm.
calms it down as well. So now I'm going to apply the oxygen. There's a serum first. And then as we use the serum, then I go back in and I just hit the button and then it's got just pure oxygen. And bacteria cannot live in a climate where there's oxygen. So it helps to, to uh, kill bacteria, heal the breakouts, as well as um, hydrate the skin because I'm using a hydrating fluid with it. Doesn't it feel great? Mm -hmm. It's very like, cooling and soothing. Yeah. When, I love when it. did this come out? Like, when did it become popular, would you say, this tool? Oh, it's been a while. I would probably say close to 20 years. So it's been in facials for a bit now? Yeah. It's been in facials for a while. Yeah, because it feels, it knows my skin. It helps if you like, plump after everything else. Yeah, also definitely hydrates. Yeah, also definitely. I'm back from my facial and I just had extractions and everything like that. So my skin is really red and puffy and inflamed. So I really apologize. I can't even believe that. I don't know what it's come to before. I'd be like fully glad and ever had my film. Now I'm like coming online, like no makeup, skin broken out, post extractions. You know, 2019 hashtag real raw. Um, but I. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing the process of the facials. Again, I'm not getting ready to talk about it at all. I just got so many questions about what actually I'm getting done, and I figured I'm making tea right now. What's that tea in this in this cup? If you know, you know. Um, but uh, woman's harmony and balance tea, folks. This tea. This is, I like this herbal tea brand a lot. It's called. I don't know, organic herbal cup, very straightforward, but it's Ayurvedic balance tea. They have one for cold and flu, but this woman's one, if you're ever feeling moody, this is the shit. Like, I love it so much, but anyway, you all, I get so many questions about facials and everything like that, and skin, and so I figured I would share it with you. Now, when just, my skin is now, the textures, my skin's super smooth, just I get the, the breakouts, that's what she wants me to come in actually more often. So now I'm coming in so far the past twice once a month, but she was like saying breakouts usually happen within like tw like usually if you're getting breakouts they happen like in quicker cycles, kind of like your period cycle. So she's like I want you to come in earlier so if little things start popping up, she can extract them before I pick at them or before they turn into full blown breakouts. Also, I got a whole new like kind of skincare system. I ordered it myself all off of Sephora. I basically started doing a ton of research about skincare. My best friend in New York, she's actually an esthetician too, so she's super helpful. And I watch a few people who are estheticians online. And I just had like a phase where I got super into it. Basically finding like the main ingredients in skincare, like hyaluronic acid, peptides, AHAs, things like that, vitamin E, the things that really do help your skin, things that you do need in your skincare versus having skincare that's just like pretty packaging and loaded with shit. Um, and now Sephora does label clean, like clean at Sephora. I'm sure you've seen that in the skincare, finally. So it's labeled. It, helping people guide people towards the products that have less things in them. Some products, I've looked at my labels, I'm even at like really popular things, they have so many, so many ingredients, so like so many additives and so many fragrances and fragrances over time actually cause like, if you're using a product with fragrance on your skin, it causes wrinkles over time and if you just start researching skincare, you'll get lost online. So if you started it, just like, you'll get ready, but basically, the best skincare is the ones that have obviously less ingredients, cleaner ingredients, preferably organic ingredients, but preferably the th things that actually work and that's all you really need. So I started, found this line called Dr. Robux. I wish they would sponsor you. If they're watching this, please sponsor me because I'm obsessed with your products. I researched them for a really long time. I ordered a lot from them. I ordered some stuff from Go To Skincare. But basically I found products that just had the key things that are known to work and I kind of talk about them with um, my esthetician. I was talking about like the key things like salicylic acid or AHAs or things like retinol or things that really work and found products like that to create like kind of a new skincare routine. I guess new year, new me. I don't know. I've the It's hard for resolutions because I already, honestly already work out every day and I eat Probably for the most part, like I still will have a cookie or ice cream here and there, but I'm not gonna cut that out. I don't know, I really enjoy. So the, for New Year to me, I guess it's my new skincare. My new skin obsession slash skincare. I will do a haul of all the stuff I got. And then later, as I use it over the next few weeks, I can do like a full video in depth with each product on like a morning skincare routine and a night skincare routine. Anyway, I have a grocery haul because we all love those. These are probably, it's really funny, on Instagram you guys message me the most to continue doing grocery hauls, so I will. This is a pretty light one, just like a light weekly grocery haul. Um, I'll go through some stuff. I don't know if it's something with energy. Honestly, I haven't been that hungry lately. I follow like a lot of 
spirituality type of people on Twitter and a lot of them were saying like, oh, the energy is very dense right now, you might not be really hungry, because right now, when, when you're seeing this probably too, there's going to be a new moon on the, te technically the 5th, but the energy will really get strong on the 6th, and that's when I suggest setting intentions. If you are a member of PBA, I don't talk about it at all because I don't really feel the need to. A lot of you guys, if you don't know, I'll talk about it super briefly. I have a website, pbastrology.com. Uh, but we have a monthly membership on there where it's just every month you subscribe, it's $10 and you get a guide. I outline the new moon for you, the full moon for you, how to use that energy of the month to manifest what you want or get rid of what you don't want. Basically just how to, month by month, use the energy to kind of like think of it as like clay to mold your life into what you want. Then they give journaling exercises and things like that. And yeah, I don't really talk about it. A ton of you guys are members already, so I don't feel the like need to talk about it. If you're not a member, feel free to join. I'll leave a link down below. It's $10. Um, but and hence, there is a new moon on 5th slash 6th. And before that is like, obviously the moon is uh, waning. So it's like letting, it's from the full moon until the new moon is like letting go. And so I felt like really like, I don't know, like I, I'd say like I cleaned out my entire like shoe wardrobe and I got rid I if now if I don't wear clothes for literally like two months I have to get rid of it because I want to have only clothes that I'm wearing a ton and like layering together like let's say this t-shirt I wear it with leggings I, I wore it with like a red silk on top I wore this over a red silk dress the other day I can wear this with like black loose pants I can wear this with jeans I want to have pieces I can wear consistently obviously because of weather some things you'll wear more one season than the other but if I know a piece I'm not inspired by and I know I'm not going to wear I try to donate it but anyway, we got the point. Let's get into it. Ezekiel bread. Love sprouted grains. This one is cinnamon raisin. I love this one for breakfast with like almond butter, peanut butter, and banana. That's it's actually very filling. If you toast two pieces of this, I like to toast it in the oven because I find it like thoroughly saturates the toast. If you put it in a toaster, I just like toast the top and it's just not enough for me. But if you put this in the oven, so what you do is like it's you just put them in right now, then you put it to 350 and then so you leave these in until it preheats to 350. Once it hits 350, these are ready. and You can cancel the clock and take them out. And that's like the perfect toast. Hashtag perfect toast. And then almond butter, peanut butter. That's already pretty filling. But if you're really hungry, then I can cut up bananas. And then if you really want, you can drizzle honey. I do that sometimes. And then I got regular Ezekiel bread for more things that are like um, avocado toast. If you make some sort of sandwich. I haven't made a sandwich in years. I don't even know I'm using it as an example. But... This one's just like sweet bread, so I can't really use this the avocado toast, things like that. I love jalapeno chips, preferably the kettle brand, but I guess they were out. This is the Sprouts Farmer's Market brand of kettle chips. They're really good. They're not the same flavor as the kettle ones, so if you're like very dedicated to that flavor, they're not the same, but they are really good. Pretty spicy, like lightly spicy good. I like them. This is the pasta that I really like. It's by the brand Banza. I think I have some other ones. Oh, I have the same ones up here. I have a little bit more of these left. Uh, it's chickpea pasta, so it's um, gluten-free, non-GMO, it's vegan. It has a lot of protein in it. It's so, it, it does a little bit comparison of average pasta versus bands on the back. Go take a look. Also, I'd love to be sponsored by bands. I love their pasta, but they have them not only in, in penne, but they have them like in the spirals and different kinds. I just like putting these in my soup. Easily just easy quick dinner a vegetable broth cut up some vegetables put chickpea pasta put lentils in that way you're getting protein and veggies it's really easy and really good i always like to have some of those on hand mia oh my gosh she ate some of the are you eating kale she like took a bite of kale by the way she's doing very good she's being a very sweet girl she's a little bit when she gets rowdy she's really rowdy she's super playful also I've noticed on Instagram, a lot of you are asking, do you still have Coco? Do you still have Coco? How are Coco and her getting along? They they now play together. Like, they cheat. Well, Mia chases Coco around the place, like, nonstop. Like, in circles and circles. And then they'll play and then they'll kind of, like, fight. But not, like, Coco will hit her very rarely. And, like, pretty, I would say, gently. But they play together. They, like, chase each other around. And then when they nap, they nap together. So, I guess it's taken almost two weeks. On Saturday, it'll be two weeks that we've had her. And they're getting along well. She bites a lot. She has lots of toys. I don't know what she's biting me. She's just really hyper right now. I'll put her down. But she weighs one and a half pounds, you guys. It's so crazy. Look at this little fluff. Also, my parents got her brushes. My dad's like, you need to brush her. So now in the mornings, I brush her. And she has her another vet appointment on Saturday to get her second round of shots. So that's really exciting. And yeah, also, so I got her like a harness on Amazon. Like a 
um, uh, I, the tiniest one I could find is like extra small pet harness for small puppies and it's still too big so if anyone has any recommendations where I can get a harness for her for this size let me know like if pet or something has that or you know where I can get her harness because for her to be it, when she can go on walks I don't know where I'm gonna get her harness she's just too ratty go here go play uh, I got two gallons of water now I just buy them in gallons uh, we talked about this before I used to buy more of the like essential water bottles, but it's a lot of plastic, so it's easier to buy obviously big ones. And this is by the brand it's Alkaline Water. It's Alkaline True. I swear by Alkaline Water. Honestly, I notice such a difference, and I don't have it. I don't know how to explain it. It's just it it really tastes different. Especially Essentia. Essentia is just the best. It tastes so good. It's like the perfect, I think they call it the perfect hydration, but it really is a perfect hydration. If you're ever dehydrated, you have a bottle of Essentia, it's life changing. Now more, now for veggies and things like that. I always like to have bananas on hand. Quick breakfast, grab and go. Also I like to put on top of things. I like to have kale for on, on the side of dishes. After if you make like a little, I don't know, whatever you make a want to make a little side salad, cut up a little bit of kale, cut up a little bit of spinach, and that's really all I like. Sometimes I'll put cucumber in it. I'm honestly not, I'm not wild with cooking. I'm not one of those people who has like recipes to be honest. I like it to be like quick, healthy, and simple. That way I'm actually motivated to do it. If it's like an elaborate thing, I just, I don't know, I never had a passion for cooking. Like, the other people can cook for like hours. I've just never had that. Maybe, maybe later, I don't know. Um, next we have one green pepper and one red pepper. I used to buy two of each, but then sometimes I wouldn't use all of them, and then I'd throw one away. So I made a resolution but i thought well i really should not buy as many peppers and just until if, if i eat these then i can order more so here they are they look very different it's like me versus you i don't know okay anyway we got a lot of brussels sprouts i'm gonna i have that brussels sprout recipe that i've shown actually i think i wrote i think it's called like cooking this changed my life but i show you like how to make you want like kind of like asian inspired brussels sprouts one of my fancier dishes but it's really really good and like if you want something salty and satisfying or like spicy that's what I make and I still feel pretty healthy about it so I got a bag of Brussels sprouts finished because when we finish this then you can get more because sometimes I get like two things of kale two things of spinach and then you don't finish it and because it's organic it goes bad quicker so I'm just trying to be I, again I don't want them to use the paper bags with the Instacart shoppers it's like it's like a little rule too or something like I'm running the nose last next time Two Honeycrisp apples, two onions, I really actually enjoy onion. Okay, every time I ask them to get beets, they get radishes. Like, I said, do they not understand? Every time, I'm not kidding, I select beets and they get radishes. This is the second time it's happened. I don't even know what I'm going to do with these radishes. Does anyone know a good radish recipe? I'm gonna, like, maybe I'll just cut these up and put them in a salad. I've seen that at restaurants. Uh, and then two avocados. They're hard, which is good, so then they'll get ripe in a few days, have avocado toast, or even just a cut up on the side of a dish and just add something. There's also been here, oh, okay. Khalifa Farms almond milk. I like to mix this in my morning matcha, mix it in coffee, also in oatmeal. This is the regular unsweetened one, you know, less sugar. Where you, where you can. And then this is the vegetable broth I was talking about. You can obviously make your own, but some of us aren't like that. So I get this one, I really like it. And then you can cut up like potato and have it cook, and then you can cut up onion. Um, that's what I can think of right now. And then you can put like lentils and then the chickpea banzas in there. And then really quickly you have a soup. That's pretty much it. That's everything that I got. I think this is a pretty average um haul as we still have some other stuff like protein and things like that so if you're wondering like where is the protein of this haul this is more like i run out of, uh, run out of side stuff more often like fruits and veggies and bread and things that i'm consuming like more often but yeah that was my grocery haul i hope you guys enjoyed i will continue to do these i know a lot of you guys enjoy them but let me know if there's any grocery suggestions you have or any recipe suggestions you have if you also feel like you eat healthy but like quick kind of easy things that you can like know that you're gonna make almost like plan it out like oh for dinner i'm gonna make this and this on the side or for breakfast i'm gonna have uh almond butter toast like things that you can know that are healthy and easy let me know i will again i will link the brussels sprout 
recipe if you want that one. It's really easy to make and super, super good. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> Oh,